once you've clicked into classwork, you can figure out all of the work that you need to do depending on the subject. So for example, Teaching has never been quite like this for Aaron Shulman or his fifth graders. So a lot of people have been thinking like, what do I do every day? Like, how do I do this? Attendance at this New York public school and morning meeting are now online. My goal for right now is to resume some, some sense of normality for students in their life. Um, especially, and parents, I've, I've had a lot of parents reaching out to me looking for some sort of schedule, looking for some sort of routine that they could fall into. That's no easy task in a city suddenly shut down amidst a coronavirus pandemic. It's 1.1 million students ordered to stay home. It's teachers told to transition to remote learning. Do you have any questions on the Google Classroom now that more people are here? Many children, like Laith and Sammy Suleiman, have parents trying to work from home, too. It's a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, because I, I thought that when they started today that they would, um, it would make my life easier. Like, I would be able to do my work, just set them up with their remote learning, but that isn't exactly what happened because they don't, they're not computer experts. And I like the quizzes and tests. And of course, not all families have the necessary technology. City officials have lent out thousands of devices. Of course, schools provide much more than just an education. They're also a source of free food and childcare for families who work. That's why some of them are staying open to provide free takeout meals for families that need them and childcare for the children of first responders, transportation and sanitation workers who still have to go to work. Not every class can have online meetings. Many teachers are relying on apps like Google Classroom to share assignments. Administrators are pleading for patience as they work out the best way to manage the new form of teaching, teaching students and all of us a thing or two about learning on the fly. We're doing pretty good for day one. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.